Hello people of YouTube. I'm making this video to help new players get a step up in the earlier portions of the game. Dark Souls is a giant treasure hunting game. Uh, that's where the secret to everyone's powers lies, is in the equipment and weapons they find and how they utilize them. In this game, there's going to be a lot of veterans who are going to come back and troll the crap out of new players. So that's why I'm here, to help give those new players a fighting chance. The first thing you'll want to grab is the Master Key. The Master Key will allow you to open up passages you typically wouldn't be able to get to. Typically it's what veterans use to get really good gear early on, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, while I'm fidgeting around, I'll talk to you about the classes. Uh, some of the classes actually have lower base stats than the others, like Cleric, Sorcery, and the depraved. I stay away from those. Alright, once you've created your character and finished the tutorial, head down the spiral portion of the Firelink Shrine and make your way down the elevator. Down here we will do a number of things. We're going to get a Firekeeper Soul, which will increase the strength of our Estus Flask, and we will also get a 100% block shield. Um, I always throw the elevator back up because if you die um, you want the elevator up there so when you're running back to your soul you just don't accidentally slip and fall down the hole. Uh, there's an item up here I missed so I'm going to turn around and grab that. Don't, don't mind me being silly. Alright, onward! Now I'm just going to make a dead sprint to the um, Firekeeper Soul. Uh, don't worry about the enemies because you can't hurt them anyways unless you use the transient curse. And if you die after you receive the firekeeper soul, don't worry about it. Because, uh, you know, you're only losing a couple souls anyways. No biggie. Whoopsies! Uh, like I said, it's no big deal. Uh, we'll just make our way back down the elevator. And this is another reason why we brought it back up, so it's ready for us. Uh, don't forget to give the firekeeper her, well, an additional firekeeper soul. Currently, what I'm doing is going the wrong way. Once I figure that out, I'll put myself back on the right track. The weapon that I passed back there, I believe, is like the s -Doc. It's a rapier-type weapon. Uh, it's good for piercing against huge armor. But not my thing. That item that I just passed, which... um. I actually went back and got off screen is uh, I got a soul of a brave warrior I think but it gives you like 6,000 souls so it's really good to pick up especially early on oh 
Uh, the items over here are the Astorus Greatsword, I think a soul, but what I want is this right here, the Dragon Crest Shield. I'm not sure what triggers the uh, dragon waking up, I honestly think it's picking up the shield. Um, but I just go for the shield to keep it safe, because I don't really care about the sword. The sword's actually really good though, early on, not gonna lie. But it, then it sucks, like, in the middle and later portions of the game, so I just ignore it. Um, now that we're back here, go ahead, explore the Firelink Shrine, grab some items. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, just grab some items and stuff. I love the fact that whenever a player rings a bell, it goes off in your world too. I just think that's one of the finer details in games that just make the Dark Souls experience more enjoyable. Gonna love those hitboxes. So the item I'm about to get is the Ring of Sacrifice. Uh, the description will tell you everything you need to know about it, except that if you have already died and you're making your way back to your Bloodstain, you can equip the ring, and if you die on your way back, you will, your Bloodstain will not disappear, and I'll give you a second chance at obtaining your Bloodstain. Uh, it's super useful. Now it's time for us to utilize that door we opened up earlier by running past the undead dragon going through the Valley of Drakes, which will take us to the woods. We're going to go through the woods back to the blacksmith, which will then lead us to the bell tower. Um, we're not going to fight the dragon, the, we're not going to fight the gargoyles yet. But at least it'll open up, at least then we'll be able to open up the shortcut back to the Firelink Shrine. Alright, we are still super puny, so all these monsters I'm going to see, I'm going to run away from. There is a cave behind that drake, don't go in it, it's just a humanity. It's not worth the death that you will sh surely endure from going inside it.
the item that you see me run past is the Grass Crest Shield. It has, I think, 80% block rate. Might be a little higher. Um, might actually, yeah, I think it's actually higher than that. And it increases, it allows your endure stamina. It allows your stamina to recover faster. I don't use that shield. I prefer a 100% block shield. Uh, and you can get that benefit from eating leaves that you find later on. I just want to take a moment to say, wow, this place is beautiful. People are ripping on this remastered hardcore. And I don't know why. Like, they fixed the camera so that it's not a physical object anymore that can get moved around if it touches things. They've increased the particle effects to make things look even more beautiful. And this game already looked really good before. Now it just looks better. And people are complaining about that too. Uh, this item, the bow and arrow, is going to be really useful to us later on. Uh, bow and arrows are nice. Uh, the forest is one of my favorite areas. Yeah, I quickly changed my mind and decided not to kill it. It's just the Twinkling Titanite, and you can buy those from Tiny once you get to uh, Lord uh, and Orlando. But for some reason, that one's always felt special to me. I don't know why. It just has. I know, I'm weird. There's that sweet, sweet sound of victory. Well, you must be a new arrival. Oi, where are you off to? Alright, so your next goal is to get the armor that you want to wear. The armor I want to wear is the Elite Knight armor. If you don't get the, if you don't get your proper armor, this may happen to you a lot. So let's get ourselves some nice armor and make sure it gets upgraded. Uh, don't forget to yoink this Firekeeper Soul. Head down the shortcut elevator and give it to the Firekeeper. Alright, onward to the Darkroot Basin. Or forest. Whatever. Let's go!
Whoops. Well, whatever. Our next goal is to equip all of our newly found armor. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, you want to make sure you don't tumble fall, because tumble falling sucks. Um, just make sure you can roll. Um, we need to also upgrade our armor because new armor, the unupgraded armor, is awful. So, do this, just farm souls, help people win stuff, pop some souls that we found on the way, and just try to get your chest piece up to plus 5 and your weapon up to plus 5 so that you can 1 to 2 shot most enemies and you will not be 1 to 2 shot for most enemies. Um, a good way to be productive while farming souls is to get the ring of favor and protection from that stinking guy. Ooh, look. I don't know, he's a jerk face. We'll deal with that on the next video. Thanks for watching.